Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. So, your boy got a package from Gymshark. Now this is not any ordinary, actually it is an ordinary Gymshark package, I'm not gonna lie. But alas, let me just show you guys what package this is. All right, so this is a stringer. When Gymshark was having a 50% sale, um, I ordered a stringer. Now I ordered a blue uh, Critical stringer. Critical and Legacy are like my favorite series from Gymshark. So dude, I am excited about this. And I've been waiting two weeks for this as well. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so blue. Holy crap. Let's try this baby on. Oh. Yes, sir. I love it. So, all right, now that we're in better lighting, you can see it better. Um, this looks sick, I love it. Yes, I got a haircut. All right, we are in the truck right now. We're gonna go hit a push day. I am feeling really uh, tired and cold right now. My joints are a little cold. So once we get there, we take, you know, we get our pre in our system, get the stimulants going um, and get warmed and warmed up. Sure, it's gonna be a good workout. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm low key excited to go to the gym. Um, I love training, man. It's like my playground in the gym. So let's go hit this workout. <laughs> We got McDonald's because we're fat! Two triple cheeseburgers, small fries, and a medium Powerade. I've been getting McDonald's an unhealthy amount, but I need my calories, bro. Um, it's easy calories. Fast food's easy calories. I'm not whatsoever saying, hey, eat McDonald's every day. Um, but you can still enjoy your diet. You can still be healthy for the most part and then, you know, have, you know, some freedom in your diet. So, um, 100%. I would totally recommend, you know, eating, you know, pretty decent uh, majority of the time, but here and there, you know, uh, some McDonald's or whatever your favorite thing to eat is, is okay to eat. I'm coming for the throne. Never kiss the rain. Ice runs in my veins. Won't play it safe. I don't belong with your nobility. Who died and made you king of anything? You think that I'm insane? It's your mistake. Hot 
outside, man, for a very bad deadlift session. Um, I kept having pain in my adductors again, man, and my knees, mainly my adductors. Um, I gotta admit, I, didn't, I haven't done my morning stretches past a day or two. Uh, maybe that's, maybe it has something to do with it. So there was pain and I also just didn't have much energy. So, <laughs> deadlift session went terrible. It's all right, you're gonna have those days. You just gotta, you know, not beat yourself up about it and move on to the next one. That's all you can do, so. I am gonna um, go home, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna rest, and we're gonna hit some legs tomorrow. Sucks, man. Deadlifts are my favorite time of the week and went terrible. So, go home, eat some food, recover. I'm gonna stretch uh, for sure. I need to continue those stretches so I, you know, I, I don't feel tight and, 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 and end up injuring myself again, so. I wanna take a second to talk about my uh, deadlift session today. So, I started off with 135, as usual, right away. I was like, man, this feels heavy. Like, even one, warming up with 135, like, dude, I just could tell it was gonna be a bad day right away. Like, I did my, I warmed up, I made sure I warmed up properly, stretched, and then I moved up to two plates. Um, that immediately, I was like, dude, why does 225 feel heavy? It usually pops up when I'm warming up. So I warmed up with 225, 135, Moved up to three plates. Did two um, two reps of uh, 315. That hurt um, and it was heavy. And then I moved up to 365. Did a heavy single on that. Wow, that moved very slow. I am very very upset with that. Here here's why I think I had a really bad session today. There's there's a lot of things that go into it. I feel like first of all, I feel like I got too much sleep. Second of all, um. I didn't have enough food in my system. That's a th that's a theory of mine here. I don't think it's true, but I didn't have enough food in my system. Also, um, the other day I went running with my dad to walk my dog. I don't I didn't run, but I, I ran at one point without stretching my legs and my adductors, dude. I feel like I like did something. <laughs> I feel like I did something to my my quads again. I feel like that has something to do with it, and. Not only that, past two days I haven't been doing my morning stretches for my legs, so they were, they were really tight today. And I don't know, man, it's just, it's really, really unfortunate um, that I had a really crappy deadlift session today because that's usually my favorite day of the week is uh, deadlifting, so. So I have a Tupperware here for my chalk whenever I use it. I'm in little boxes right here. I'm just gonna put this aside. I don't really wanna get my room all messy with chalk. Now for the squat shoes. Oh yeah. But look at them, dude, they're so nice, dude. I'm gonna have to try these on for y'all. All right, so let's try these on. These are the shoes right here. With the blue stringer, looks really nice. Now all we gotta do is test a squat. Ugh. I mean, I feel like I can get lower somewhat. Overall, I do think they are solid shoes.
all in when I show up. Whole place about to blow up. Superior to that competition. I'm in first place, yeah, that's how I'm living. I'm winning till they digging up my grave. Eating all the things up on my plate. Game face when I step up in the place. I was born and when I watched the other day.